The spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. NASA-funded telescopes have their eyes on the sky all the time and first spotted this object back in July. It's a comet, now named 3I Atlas. For the first time in history, the universe seemed to stop breathing. An object in space called 3I Atlas had been speeding through space for millions of years when it suddenly stopped moving beyond Mars. It was confirmed by telescopes all over the world, which shocked NASA. What could stop something that is going faster than a bullet? The next event would make every physics rule ever written fall apart. We've got 3i Atlas updates and maybe even our best shot yet to clearly see the third interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system. Today, the day motion stopped. This is the story of 3i Atlas, the stillness that should not exist. There is no such thing as still space. Every planet, moon and grain of dust moves through the dark in a way that has been going on for a very long time and has never been stopped. Time keeps things going forward and gravity pulls things down. But one night, something outside chose to stop. A mountain-sized object floated in the dark, far from Mars, giving off a faint glow from borrowed sunshine. It was called 3i Atlas and it was the third visitor from another star system to be recorded. It was on a one-way trip through hours. It was meant to move along its way without any problems, being easy to plan, measure and forget. It didn't, though. The scientists thought their tools had frozen at first. The GPS locations were the same as the night before. Not nearly, not quite, they are exact to the pixel level. The numbers wouldn't change. Don't drift. Not a parallax. There is no sign of speed. It didn't make any sense at all for something that should have been going tens of kilometers per second. The telescopes were adjusted again. They turned the computers back on. They fixed the clocks and cleaned the glasses. But there were no changes in the readings. Hawaii, Chile, Spain, and South Africa were all places where the same trend kept happening, confirming what no one wanted to say. The comet was in a still state. In a group based on trust, doubt spreads very quickly. There are mistakes in data all the time, but never in four observatories on four different parts of the world. Some experts said it was because of changes in the atmosphere, while others said it was because of timing problems or interference. But all of the tests were fine. Every time they looked for a problem, it became clear that it wasn't with the tools, but with reality itself. NASA's email box was full of alerts. Check your gear. Check for exposures. Confirm targets again. The steps were the same in every lab, and the results were the same in every lab. Stillness that can't be denied. It was against everything we know about physics for something to be sitting still in space. They felt more uncomfortable with the truth as they looked further. There was no change in temperature, no dust trail, and no sign of thrust or contact. Even the faint coma around the center looked calm, like it was frozen in mid-breath. By definition, a comet was something that was moving ice melting into gas, energy flaring, and a path that was shifting. This one, on the other hand, was as still as a picture of itself in every range. The news quickly spread through the science networks, and the internet was online in just a few hours. As amateur astronomers rushed to check the sky, conspiracy channels exploded with ideas. Some said it was a ship, while others said it was proof that aliens were watching. Behind closed doors, though, the real scientists were more worried about the unthinkable, that Newton's rules might have been broken for the first time. It was a strange feeling, even for the most experienced astrophysicists. For many generations, people had been able to rely on reliable motion, which meant that things that moved would keep moving. But here, in the empty black space beyond Mars, a visitor from another world had stopped thinking about moving at all. Everything seemed to have forgotten to breathe, it was known as the pause event. Some people just called it the silence. Every night, instruments all over the world were still fixed on that one point of light, waiting for the tiniest change that would show the rules of physics were still true. No one came. As people around the world looked into that light that wasn't moving, those who knew the stars best started to think, 
If motion could disappear so quickly, then something else must be moving it. There is something strong, hidden, and much bigger than anything we've ever measured. The hunt for a natural explanation. Scientists rushed to find answers. Space does follow rules, and rules are there for a reason. The first thought was pretty easy to understand. The comet might have stopped on its own. A comet is a dirty snowball made of dust and frozen gas. When the sun warms them up, they send out jets of vapor that can move them like tiny rockets. In theory, one of those jets could stop the comet from moving forward if it shot hard enough in the opposite direction. But the math quickly put an end to that hope. To stop something the size of 3i Atlas that is going faster than a bullet, you would need the power of a rocket engine that keeps running. The thing didn't show any signs of heat, venting, or flickering light. It did not explode or flare, and there was no sign that it had burned any fuel. It was still cold and quiet. And then there was the idea of fantasy. Maybe it just looked like it wasn't moving. There are lots of tricks in space. Light can bend, stars can move, or nearby items can make something look still when it's actually moving. Scientists tried that theory in optical, infrared and radio waves, but the results were all the same. Nothing. Not moving. Don't drift. There are no signs of lying, even when the times of the pictures were checked against each other to the millisecond. There was no lag. Whatever was going on wasn't in the camera, it was in space. Then there was the magnetic idea, which was just a little crazy enough to work. The sun's magnetic field flows outward for billions of kilometers and gets jumbled and twisted as it goes. It's possible that 3i Atlas got lost in a strange area where those fields met and cancelled each other out. Plasma scientists called it a magnetic snare, a cosmic tug of war that was so well balanced that it could hold something in place for a short time. That idea, though, fell apart under its own weight. At that distance from the sun, the sun's magnetic field is about as strong as a fridge magnet. They could bend charged particles, but they couldn't stop a comet the size of a rock. It wasn't possible for the numbers to add up, and computers can't lie. NASA's analysts had tried every possible answer that came from following the rules. It wasn't possible to outgas, there were no optical tricks, and the magnetic traps were too weak. Nothing changed at the end of every test. There was no glitch with the silence. It was true, even though it should have been easy to find a natural cause, all of them fell apart when faced with the proof. That was the scariest part for science. The data made fun of them more and more the more they tried to explain it. It wasn't chaos. They could have dealt with that. This was a different kind of order. It was exact and quiet, as if the object had made a choice that the laws of physics couldn't explain. In the midst of the math problems and the long nights, a new thought began to form. It was not one of fear, but of quiet dread. Suppose that no normal force could explain the quiet. Then the answer might not be in normal physics at all. There may have been something outside that cracked the rules for a short time to show people how little they understand about the universe they live in. They stopped asking what had stopped 3i Atlas for the first time and began to wonder how far the universe would go to keep its secrets. When physics bends. As the investigation went on, it became more and more strange as every physical answer failed. What if the comet was fine? What if the problem was in space? Reality isn't flat out there, between worlds. It bends, waves and stretches because of forces that can't be seen. Light that should be traveling straight can bend around heavy things like black holes and stars. What you see is called gravitational lensing and it can fool even the most skilled cameras. It's possible that 3i Atlas had gotten lost and found one of those invisible bends, a spot where light paths were twisted so exactly that the speed of the light seemed to stop. It was a nice statement that was beautiful in how simple it was, but beauty doesn't always mean truth. The sun, earth and comet would have to be almost perfectly lined up for that trick to work. It would be so close to being impossible. If you were off by just one degree, the picture would move, if the timing was off by a tiny bit, the result would be lost. In the big world we live in, coincidences like that don't happen very often. The thought stuck around, though. It made me feel better to think that the quiet wasn't real, and that the light was just a cosmic trick. 
but the facts wouldn't act like a trick. Even stranger was what spectrographs that were following the object showed. Its light wasn't always the same. The color changed quickly from red to blue in a way that no one could explain. Moving away is what redshift means. When you blue shift, you get closer. But how could it do both at the same time? It looked less like movement and more like interference, with waves bumping into each other, mixing, cancelling each other out, and then building up again. In quantum tests, particles can be in two places or states at the same time and behave like waves. But this wasn't a tiny particle, it was something kilometers across. If what they said was true, something inside 3i Atlas was vibrating on a level that no one had ever seen before. Some scientists started to talk about quantum resonance, which is a strange event where matter and the structure of space-time itself interact. Maybe the comets, foreign, old, made in another star system, matter reacted with gravity and radiation in ways that scientists on Earth don't know about. Maybe the hum of its atoms made it lock into the background fabric of space, like a key fitting into a hole that you can't see. It might have been exactly balanced between moving forward and backward for a very short time. That might have looked like nothing from our point of view, but it could have been vibrating on the edge of life. That would mean that the silence wasn't a stop. It was a motion that was so complicated that it cancelled itself out. It was a kind of balance that was too perfect for our eyes to see. That was too big for the equations that are used to explain planets and rockets. Physics as we know it now would need to be rewritten. Thoughts got crazier. So did questions. What if stillness wasn't a mistake, but a state that the world only lets happen in very few secret situations? What if things could naturally find those balance points, moving like surfers on a cosmic wave between the gravity waves? If so, the space around us wasn't empty at all. It was full of structures we couldn't see, like folds, eddies, and stopping spots where motion could stop and balance. The theory that changed everything. NASA quickly put together a task force. The secret had grown too big for one group to handle. The smartest people from several places, including Goddard, the European Southern Observatory, and private study labs, came together with one goal in mind, to make a model that could explain everything. Scientists from the fields of astrophysics, plasma theory, and materials science worked together to look through reams of data and compare wavelengths temperatures, and magnetic readings. They hoped that there was a pattern in those numbers somewhere. The spectral data showed the first tip. When scientists looked at the light that was reflected off of 3i Atlas, they found something strange in the signal. Tiny bits of nickel, cobalt, and magnetic silicates. These minerals were metallic, which means they could carry energy. They had no right to be there. Comets are usually made of rock and ice, which makes them delicate and dusty. They aren't designed to carry current, but this one looked different, like a metal piece covered in frost. The thought quickly spread. What if 3IATLAS wasn't just mirroring light, but also reacting to it? The magnetic field of the sun is billions of kilometers long and twists through space like a huge unseen ocean of charged particles. It's possible for the comet to interact with that field if it had electrical materials on it, like an antenna caught in a cosmic storm. This could lead to a strange balance instead of speeding up or slowing down. It could have stayed still instead of moving around freely because the magnetic force and solar pressure were just right. To test the idea, the team used models. They made models of all the forces that were working on the comet, such as the sun's radiation pushing it away, gravity pulling it toward the sun, and magnetic flux pulling it from places that can't be seen. These forces never line up in real life. One always wins. But something amazing happened when ideals that shouldn't have gone together did. The equations were equal. Motion stopped. The thing didn't stop moving, it just stopped speeding up. It was like there was no push or pull at all, so the team started calling it dynamic null equilibrium. It was the first answer that made sense when you did the math. Space didn't stop moving in this state of balance. It just evened out. The relative speed dropped to zero, like two waves meeting and going against each other. 
Three-Eye Atlas hadn't broken any physics rules. It just found a way around them. Everything changed when they found it. If the model was right, the galaxy might be full of these equilibrium zones, areas where the forces of gravity, magnetism and radiation are so evenly distributed that motion stops. Scientists started calling them cosmic harbors because they were natural places to rest, spread out in space. They were traps for a comet. They could be safe havens for future spacecraft, places to wander without using fuel, to hide from radiation, and to take a break in the never-ending darkness. But as the excitement grew, so did the dread. The math worked, but it needed conditions that were so exact they were almost like they were made that way. It was incredibly unlikely that a random item would fall into such a perfect balance. Some scientists said in whispers that it might not have been a mistake. It's possible that 3i Atlas had been led by physics we didn't fully understand yet, or by something even older. The numbers were still correct. Motion had been cut down to almost zero for the first time without breaking any physical rules. The universe wasn't broken. It just showed a layer that wasn't there before. The finding pushed the limits of what we know about physics and helped us learn more about how space works. The data changed again, just as the team thought they had finally figured out what was going on. After being stopped, the comet started to move. Its light changed. It had spikes in temperature. It was like the universe, happy that they understood, chose to tell them that knowing something always has a cost. The Return of Motion The sky was quiet for days. Then, a number on a computer changed almost without anyone noticing. After staring at the same frozen locations for a long time, it felt like a heartbeat coming back. It was only a fraction of a fraction. 3i Atlas had started to move again. After moving out of the solar system in a way that looked like nothing strange had happened, it started moving again, first slowly and then gradually. It felt good right away. In the control rooms, eyes that had been closed for days lit up, and hands that had been typing for days finally let go. The familiar drift came back. Things in the universe began to move again. Even though everyone breathed a sigh of relief, there was a quiet understanding that things would never feel as easy as they did before. As more information came in, the comet had changed in some way. Its speed wasn't exactly the same as it had been before. It had changed a little, going slower in some places and faster in others. Its spectral color got deeper, becoming a darker red. This suggested that its surface had either taken in or given off energy while it was still. Heat rising and falling in a rhythmic way, like a slow, controlled breath, was seen on thermal scans. It was like the item had felt something while it was still and stored that feeling as a new signature. As if they were afraid to blink, the world's telescopes wrote down every detail. Whatever had 3i Atlas hadn't left it alone. It was changed, remade, and marked by an event that no one could explain. There were many theories, like magnetic locks, plasma traps, and quantum standing waves, but none of them could fully explain the days with no movement. The puzzle was over, but now there are more questions. And that's the mystery of 3i Atlas, the comet that made the universe stand still. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and click the next video now popping up on your screen.